Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm DDF Racer and today, well I didn't really plan on going racing today if I'm being honest with you. Um, originally I had plans to be away for the weekend, but it turns out that there's a snap lock down here in Brisbane, so all plans cancelled. Stay in the house. What that does mean though, is that I can go racing with the Americans and the Canadians, and the Brazilians, and everybody else, and the Australians and New Zealanders who decide to turn up and race today on the American server for Race Room's daily ranked event, which is the Formula 2 cars at the Hungara Rink. So basically mirroring this weekend's real-life racing in the Formula 1 Grand Prix. So let me just turn that music down, and yes. Yeah, I can't wait for this. I'm looking forward to this. Any excuse for me to go and get inside a single seat car and go racing is always a nice nice little nice little bonus for me. And um, yeah, I've been meaning to race with these guys uh, for a while now. I raced with them. I did a GT3 at Paul Ricard race and an IndyCar at Daytona race. Um, also did the... Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Also did the DTM 2020s uh, when it was my DDF server on Race Room. So that was good. Um, but no, it's really good. It's really good racing, really nice racing, good community, great group. North America Race Room, you're doing fantastic things for Race Room. So keep up the good work. And I thought, yeah, being as I'm not going anywhere this weekend, I might, might come and say hi. But seriously, thank you to everybody who's tuned in as well. I know it was a little bit short notice, and I know there's, you know, I didn't give you guys much chance to get ready for this stream and, you know, know I was going live. But hey, I'm here. Really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks. King Carrot, Sean Patterson, Ken Turner, Sean O'Brien, Drazen, and Daniel. Thank you very much. Olaf, and obviously Olaf's asleep right now. Uh, but my dad. He's going to try and stay awake for it as well, because I know it's like nearly one in the morning back in the UK or something like that. Or nearly, nearly anyway. So, how does this work today? What's the format of the race? Well, we are in the middle of the practice session, and there is about three minutes left in the practice session. After that, we have ten minutes of private qualifying, and after that, we have a 60-minute race with a standing start and a mandatory pit stop. So, you got to try and work out the strategy. Is it worth changing tyres? I mean, you got to change tyres, so is it worth fueling, though? Because it doesn't take too long to put the fuel in these cars. And the advantage... Well, it's so hard to get a consistent lap in. Uh, let me just switch it over to race room mode. Where's my music gone? Music's dead. Come on, music. There we go. SoundCloud. Uh, yeah. So this is currently in the middle of the practice session. Like I said, we've got three minutes remaining now. At the moment, I am at the top of the timing sheets by 1.5 seconds from Theo Lupu. Um, Ensbury's here, Rangy's here, Philipponi's here, Tate Fielding. Ah, Oscar, Ozentek guy. We've got a heap of people. We've got Mr. Morehouse as well. We've got a few Spaniards and Germans. We've got a Brazilian in here. It's quite a mix of nationalities, to be honest with you. So, yeah. No, it's, I'm looking forward to this. And we've got a few more people have just joined as well. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully, it's a good race. It's a very twitchy car. It's a very nervous car. Uh, too much power, too much throttle, and it's going around. Um, no ABS, no traction control. So, it's very much... Your feet control the car. and I mean, your hands control the car, but your feet control it more than your hands, I'd say, in this one. And obviously, the Hungara Ring, it's literally corner after corner after corner. But I like it. I, I'm probably one of the few people who does actually like this circuit. It's just, it just has a really nice flow. When you, when you get the car dialed in, it just has a really nice flow. Ah, game Two over! Minutes left. Two minutes. Welcome, game over. Don Benoni, hey, welcome welcome to the stream, mate. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so yeah, how long have we got left in practice? One minute and 45 seconds. So I'm going to put my headset on in preparation. Get all my cables untangled. And yeah, some of you may have noticed that the camera looks a little bit clearer than it has done previously. I'm now running on a Sony ZV-1 camera as opposed to the Logitech C920 that was running previously. And it's got all these fancy things like autofocus how cool is that? And the, the lights look better, the, the color balance looks better, the sharp sharpness is improved as well. Um, and yeah, it's it's just because my Sony Z, uh, my, Sony, uh, my, my old Logitech was dying, basically. It kept on cutting out in the middle of the stream, which is very inconvenient because when you've got a VR headset on and you're in the middle of a, middle of a race, you can't just 
the, the cable's all over there. You can't just unplug it and plug it back in and keep on driving again and reset software and stuff. So, yeah, it was a bit unacceptable. So, hello, Sony ZV-1. I did put a video out on that in the channel probably about 12 hours ago. Um, and also, the vote is working, by the way. Sean O'Brien, thank you very much for getting stuck into the vote. The vote is working. You can vote on whether you think I'm going to bin it or not. Exclamation mark vote yes, or exclamation mark vote no in chat. However, it doesn't want to show up on the screen. It should normally be over here somewhere, like that little gap below the chat. It should be should be showing up. Yeah. I don't know why. It's been like that for weeks now. Uh, Chris O'Connor. G29 upgrade. Funny you mention that. It, it is. It's being upgraded. I've been running this G29 since the start of the channel. It's about three years now. And um, yeah, a few months ago I decided to be one of the brave souls that gets on board the Fanatec CSL DD hype train, uh, pre-order train. Um, yeah, so that's that's going to be arriving in the middle of September. The session, B1. That's going to be arriving in the middle of September. So I will be looking forward to giving that a go and putting a review out on that as well and seeing what that's about. Uh, I did go with the 8 Newton meter option as well. Because if you're going to go direct drive for a cheapo price, you might as well. You, you might. What's the point getting getting the small one, you know? You might, you might as well. Hey, Vushul, good morning from here, 9.56am. Uh, what is it? It's like 1.56am for you. But we have not much time. There's only 10 minutes in quality today. So I think it's time I should pause the music and unmute the comms. Saw that, I wasn't sure. That's the but North American race. So like, if you wouldn't, it's fine. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. Evening. So uh, 9.25 seconds left in the practice. Let's go. Look too bad. Uh, solo qualifying at least, this is good. Mm. Yeah, you um, you do realize I have a I have a tendency to uh, bin it quite a lot, so y you should be all right, you know. <laughs> you should know I've never driven this car before. <laughs> right. <laughs> Started it. Learned today. this track today, so you know, figure it out as we go. How hard can it be? Famous last words, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take some. Possibly go wrong. Take some fuel it's out. Okay, you all can have a hundred imaginary rating points. I'm going to donate to you. All. I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> okay, and um, switch over to racing mode. And let's go and get some qualifying done because yeah, we haven't got much time left in the session there, at there all. There are moments when this car is enjoyable, and then as soon as it realizes you're having fun, it kills you. At least that's my opinion. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, it's like, nope, enough of that. Back to, back to normal. <laughs> okay, let's go driving. Private rolling qualifying here today. Just want to get a banker lap on the board. But yeah, this is the real-life combo that's been raced this weekend. Formula 2s at Hungaroring. And I know this is the old Formula 2. Heavy braking for the first corner. Try and get the late apex. Very squirrely on the power here. Feed the throttle in gently. Hey, Sticky. Hey, Bushul. Trail brake a lot in this one. You're still braking at the apex. Wait for that little dip in the road. Short shift to third to stop the wheels from going round. And if you get the line right, this is flat out. You can use a little bit of space on the left there. Brake just before the line here in the track. Down to fourth. Use the curb to turn it round. And then third and then this is another trail break corner you have to be so patient on the throttle here because the track rises up and then brake just after the curbs down to second whoa big wiggle on the rear then and these corners just flow so much so keep it in third and then break it again wait until the exit uh, the curb it finishes on the inside to get the power down keep it tight to the left here in fourth fifth brake immediately down to fourth knock it down I completely missed the turn on that one got to run wide and then brake just at the curb here down to second. Patient again, patient again. Don't get on the curb too much because it will spin you. Shortly into fourth, then down to second. More trail braking. Wait for the car to rotate on the exit. And then you can kind of do this one in third or second, depending on how confident you feel. I'm keeping it in third for now, getting a nice wide exit so I can get the power down gently. And that was a terrible lap. The lap time was 133.49. 
Right. Let's try again. Let's concentrate this time. On provisional pole so far, but Ensbury is pretty fast in these things. Sector one time's okay. Oh, that's going to be wide. Yep, that's a cut track there. Okay, Dan, we need to watch these track limits. That corner is horrible. It really is. That corner is absolutely disgusting because it just forces you wide and you can see on the delta I'm up on this lap so far and this one was pretty wide as well so let's get turned in here was three tenths up on this lap even though it's not going to count now eight tenths so there's half a second in that corner as well it's just a case of putting it all together on one lap oh you confused me too Wushal I thought I thought Sticky was here all good right I'm going to be quiet for this one because only got half the quality session left now. So headphones on, volume up, enjoy the sounds of the Formula 2 at the Hungara Ring. And probably a lot of tire squeal as well. Okay, let's go. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> Just got a bit too adventurous on the curb on the inside. Okay, let's press escape. And let's come back to the pits and try again. I'm going to actually take a little bit more fuel out because I don't I don't need that much fuel in the car. If it's single lap quality. So fuel level, let's put 8 litres in. No, let's put 9 just to be safe because then I can do 3 laps and it won't stutter on me. Should just have enough time in the session for 3 laps. Okay, quiet lap again. Last one didn't count. Oh, I'm excited too, Sean. It's good to be here, man. Something different. Oh, way too wide. There we go. That'll do. <laughs> that lap time was 131.66. That's your fastest lap today. Whoa. Sector's are pretty quick. That's the best lap I've done so far on this track. Whoa. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go.
Ooh. Ooh, okay. It's not often I do two quiet laps in a row like that. Jeez. That kind of didn't feel natural. <laughs> that that kind of that didn't feel like me driving. That's a really strange thing to say, but that I I wasn't really there for that then. That was just like, okay. The car's driving itself. <laughs> um uh, okay. Well, I've got my fuel and ready for the race at least. On pole. What to check it flag P1 by two and a half seconds. Okay. I'm I'm not used to this. Right, 11's not too bad for a Saturday. Or Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on race room. Come on, race room, it's thinking about it. <gasps> no! I just got kicked from the server. Oh no. What? Uh. Mm. Oh. That sucks. That's a shame. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, it took a while to kick over from quality to the race, and it went black and just went back to the menu. That's that issue, it sounds like, that everyone's having. Oh, well, good racing with you guys. <laughs> well, that's good, good qualifying with you, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you uh, destroyed us. <laughs> oh, man, that's so annoying. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I love these cars. Oh, some stars in pit lane as well. Maybe they got kicked too. Oh, what the hell? I'm in the pit lane. Yeah, that's a bit screwy, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone else okay? I think someone else is in the pit lane with you. We'll see as it goes. The last two I did, I was kicked like towards the end of the race, so... We'll see. Oh, uh, and I just sped, so there we go. Yeah, it won't let me back in. Damn it. Okay. Oh, never mind. Well, that's a bit of an anticlimax, guys. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Race Room recently, and I hate to say this. I really do, because Race Room is my go-to sim. Race Room is my... It's... Yeah, uh, this is getting quite annoying. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say, really. That's really frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. Um, I can't get back into the server because once Quali ticks over, that's it. Um, we obviously can't join a race in progress. You can't even join a qualifying session in progress. Oh, okay. That is incredibly, incredibly frustrating. I, there's nothing I can do to get back in. Um... Well, we got to do something. Should we do an AI race, I guess? Should we go and race against the AI for a little bit? <laughs> um, yeah, but, but that's a new one, though. Normally, it kicks me to the desktop, or normally it just freezes the game completely, or it just it just glitches out. But that's one where it's actually like booted me from the server, but it wasn't a ping issue. Um, but yeah, no, th th as much as it pains me to say this, Race Room, it's broken right now. It really is. So many people are having connection issues. Um, so many people are having issues with the stuttery web hood, with dropped frames. Um, some people's force feedback isn't working completely. And I, I love them. I do. I love Race Room. You know, it's it's my go-to sim for a reason. It just resonates with me. But yep, it, just flick turn rejoin. That's nice. It just yeah. It's it's not it's. Mm. It's kind of going the way of our factor two at the moment. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Well, let's see if there's another ranked server available. Let's see if there's something else we can do. Uh, whether it'll let us back on for that as well. Let's see what other ranked we've got. Because there may be some euros available. 
But then again, I got kicked from the Euro servers last time. Let's practice. Oh, okay, okay. Three seconds left in this. Oh, that's a full server anyway. That's not going to work. There's 30 people in there. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked anyway. Four seconds left in the practice session. It's already full. Ping is 317. And you get kicked over... Oh, this is going to be a lonely race now. You get kicked over 250 milliseconds, basically. Um, yeah, there's not really much that I can do online now because all the Euros are starting to go to bed. There's a rookie Euro race here. Uh, qualifying's about to take over. I'm going to have to wait 15 minutes for that. There's a race that's in progress here, but that's another 30 minutes. There's only three people in there anyway. There's two people practicing on Gorkality's European server. But again, the ping to that is going to be horrendous. Um, Porsche at Laguna. Porsche at Laguna. I could give it a go, but it's just because it's a Euro server, I'm probably get kicked. I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. I mean, there's three people in there, or two people in there right now. I've done absolutely no practice. Uh, what shall I go? Let's go the pink one. Is my gish stick shit, uh, uh, shit up? It is. Gear stick is set up. And, um, yeah, let's give it a go. I'm probably going to get kicked, because, like I said, it's a, it's a European server. I do love the Porsche Carrera car. It's amazing. I like uh, Macau's. We've got Vigil and Zurb in here. So let's go and let's just go and try this. Absolutely zero practice. This is going to be this is going to be fun. So there we go. Race room new. Engine on. Ignition. The first. Pit lane speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. Pit exit is clear. The brakes are cold. Be careful. We've got cold tires. We need to get some heat into them. Nice and gentle. Let's get used to the car. Watch those downshifts. Go easy on the transmission. And the spot is already having a whinge at me about the gears. Nice cold tires. Need to wait for those tires to come up to speed for a lap or two. two. Side tires. Green flag sector two. Probably going to get pick, uh, kicked from this, guys. So I'm just going to see how it goes. Nah, Sean. The uh, North America race didn't work. I got booted from the server. After qualifying on pole by two and a half seconds, so that's a bit frustrating. Not a great advert for race room, if I'm being honest with you. I'm starting to consider my other options for sim racing streams now. A set of course, it could be quite good. Might even go back to iRacing. But, um, yeah. The amount of issues that I've been having recently with race room, it just doesn't. It's, just not, it's not a good feeling, man. And I was really looking forward to that Formula 2 as well. Yeah, King Carrot, I haven't tried the Formula V yet. That's a free car as well, so that should be quite good. Like, participation-wise, at least, anyway. Two minutes to go, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, Sean, maybe I broke the game. I don't know. First ever time I got as low as the 1 minute 30s, though. Yeah, it's a shame, Sean, to see Race Room go this way. I mean, the reason that I came to race him in the first place, because I was fed up with our Factor 2. It was... So easy to just... 
jump in and out of a race. And just enjoy yourself, you know? You don't have to stress about getting things set up. You know it's going to work. Uh, Simeon, the thing with iRacing is it's very stressful. It's very stressful. I, I get a lot more stress and tension out of iRacing and a lot of bad feels from the competition. It just... I had a few bad experiences with it and it kind of put me off for a little while, you know? It's not that I don't enjoy it. Far left, clear left. It's just that it, one, all the other stuff that goes along with iRacing kind of just doesn't sit right with me, to be honest. But when I did drive it, when I when I did drive it, I really. We think has crashed in. Turn five. Go easy on the transmission. It was um, yeah. No, when when I when I did do iRacing, because I did it like two races a week for like three, four months, you know, at the start of the year, and it was great, it was fun, thoroughly enjoyable, uh, it just, I just got out of the habit, really, I went and got married, and when I came back from the wedding and the honeymoon, my, um, schedule was kind of reset, you know, I didn't, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really get back into iRacing again, and it's one of those things, you can't just jump into iRacing and go in a race, because you will be a hazard to everyone else on track, it's just not, it's, it's not worthwhile. You gotta practice. Oh, it's rolling quality. Yeah, with iRacing, you gotta practice. You can't just jump in, jump out, unless you wanna get absolutely just murdered. I also had a computer to build, that is true, Vushal. And I also had R Factor 2 endurance races to take part in. It's it's been pretty busy. I just haven't really prioritized iRacing too much, you know? Or maybe I hate I hate to say it, but maybe with the racing problems that are going on, it will give me more time to get back into iRacing. Well, I'm really enjoying this car track combo, Porsche at Laguna Seca, the Porsche Carrera Classic. I haven't changed anything on the car, any settings, any brake bias or anything. I'm just going to run it stock standard. I feel like using the weight transfer in the rear like that, that was a bit, that was a exaggerated example, but kind of using the weight transfer to get the car around. Oh, this is this is very satisfying. We got six people in the race now as well. Hopefully, I don't get kicked from this one too. Uh, for some reason, I don't think this lap was recording. Okay, this lap's recording. That was strange. Bit of gravel on the outside there. Well, not really gravel, it's just dirt, I suppose. Very dusty grass. I should be familiar with that living in Brisbane. Wow, that was nice. Uh, this is a ranked server, Vushal. Okay, down. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. This is Gorkality's Euro server, I think. Oh, a bit wide there. Oh, that's a cut track. This lap won't count. Watch those track limits. 
I knew that was going to happen a mile off. I knew I turned in too early, but I couldn't steer out of it, otherwise it would have upset the weight of the car too much. And that's going to invalidate the next lap as well. Gee, track limits are pretty strict here at Laguna. Right, let's try again. How long have we got left in the session? 3.55. Okay, so I've got two laps. Two laps to get a time on the board. And don't forget, I've done absolutely zero practice in this, guys. This is me just jumping in because the Formula 2 race crapped out on me. Yeah, Kent, I think it it's might be... stupid question, but do you have to pit within a certain window? Yeah, um, it opens in two minutes, and I think it stays open for like half an hour. And then make sure you at least change one set of tires or else well. it doesn't count, and you have to pit again. Oh, I forgot I've left the North That's America really race room. I pitted because I had damage. Left the North America yeah, race so room comes on. That was early. <laughs> They're still doing their race in the background, the one I should be in. Oh, that sucks. I didn't realize that. I would have waited. Oh well. But yeah, zero practice whatsoever. Let's see what we can do. I think it's a 15 minute race. I'm not sure. I didn't read the rules coming into it. <laughs> We're gonna need some fuel calculations as well, but I don't know what fuel, kind of fuel I'm using because I haven't set a valid lap yet. Oh, too wide. Oh, no cut track though, all good. What kind of time is it? Careful with those gear shifts, so the transmission ain't gonna last the race. What time is it? That was a oh, two half a second off. Eight, two minutes Let's get that. Two Let's get that. I can do that. Look after yourself, Jason. Thanks for dropping by, mate. Sector one time's okay. Oh, that was a wiggle. Wiggle and a half. Still faster though. <laughs> Gaining time. Sector two time is good. Whoa. Maximum drifto. There it is. There's the time. That last lap was a 136.94. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. Your times are good <laughs> in all three sectors. Now this is as far as I got. Let's start again. Now this is as far as I got in the Formula Two race. So how many uh, fuel? 1.7. What's the race distance? What's the race distance? The race is. 15 minutes standing start. Check it flags out, B1. 1.7. Uh, how much, how much fuel? How much fuel? Uh, 1.7 below, maybe 10 laps. No, maybe more? 10 laps, 1.7, I'm gonna go 20 liters, just to be safe. Well, I got as far as the race server. That's good. 20 liters, yeah, 20 liters should do it, I think. Uh, do you know what? It doesn't. It doesn't make that much difference. Twenty-five. Doesn't matter if it's fat on fuel, does it? 
doesn't make too much of a difference in these things. All right then, let's go racing. 15 minutes. Good luck, everybody. All right, Dan, get ready. Go. Left side. Hold your line. Oh, we're both in the pinkies. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Clear on the left. We got any dive bomb heroes in third place? I don't think so. Got done off the line. Down to second. I think Michael Zerb. Okay, looking a bit feisty behind. Drop back a bit there, though. This is a really fun combo, actually. Let's go and get Andre. Oh, well, let's let's try at least anyway. Oh, he's hit the curb. He's had a wobble. Oh, so have I. There's a lot of play in these cars. Like in sector three. It's great. Got a good exit. Green flag sector three. Oh, Zerb is gone. Zerb is in the pits. Battle for the lead. Clunk over the curb on the inside there. Oh, both of us do the same. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Pretty close now. This isn't an overtaking opportunity though, normally. Big slide. It's getting around the outside. Give him the space. Clear to the left. Left side. Keep it steady. Clear left. Didn't want to risk it. Easy Euro. The ping looks pretty shocking. I'm not too much of a fan of close wheel to wheel racing when you got people warping a bit. Give him the space. Wasn't super confident that I'd slow it down anyway, so having that tighter line on the outside. Incident in sector three. Sector three is yellow. Go easy on the transmission. He's had a few wobbles though, so he's not invulnerable. Sector two is zero point four seven off the pace. Slow in, fast out, miss gear shift. Oh, it's so much fun to slide it around. I love this car. He's holding it quite tight to the apex on entry. He's taking quite sharp lines in. Was that more sweeping around? Oh, track limits there. We've had a cut warning. Keep it tidy, please, Dan. Left side tires are cold.
There we go. Get a little wiggle. Three tenths. Run a bit wide on exit there. Cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Fastest lap for Roger. 137 or 27. Yeah, ten minutes to go. That's that ten minutes left. It's a terrible line there. Just need to get a little bit closer. I'm too afraid of taking the lines that I want to take. Keep him in your sights. Force the mistake. Will do, spotter. No, definitely not fourth gear for that corner. Not for me, at least, anyway. It just loses too much time. Look, I'm bleeding. I need to drop down to third. That's my style. Worth a try, though. Roger. Ahead is now 0.9. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Dan. No, it's, it's definitely worth a try, Drazen, because I'm still learning this car just as, as, as much as the next person. <laughs> this is my first experience in this combo, literally the practice session you just saw me jump into. So i got to try these things, you know, i gotta, I got to give them a shot, otherwise you never know. But maybe with a bit more practice, fourth would work for me, but it just bleeds too much speed going up the hill. I am hustling this thing like crazy, though. Oh, my dad's pretty good in these kind of cars, indeed. He's pretty good in most cars these days. He's an absolute master of the controller. Right, let's try third here. So it just helps rotate the car and keeps my momentum up the hill, for me personally. I'm not saying it's wrong. Hey, Richard! Yeah, these are funny looking Formula 2 cars, Richard. I um I got booted in the quality session unfortunately. I got booted in quali, mate, so I'm doing a, a consolation race. Porsche Carreras at Laguna Seca. And this guy beat me off the line and I've not been able to get past him again since. Six minutes to go in the race. Absolutely gutted about the Formula 2 race as well because I put it on pole by two and a half seconds. Probably one of my best ever qualifying laps. Like I was kind of a bit speechless. Bobo the Hobo. I absolutely love that username, man. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Left side tires are cold. Whoa! No!
and Soupy. Koenigsegg. Indeed, this is rook, uh, ranked rookies. The lap time was at 1.36.94. That's five minutes to go. Come on, keep it together. We'll be on the podium here. I got uh, so not beaten in quali, got booted in quali, Richards. I uh, kicked from the server. When it went from quali to the race, I just got a black screen. And then I got greeted with the main menu again. Which is not the first time that stuff like this has happened in race room recently. So it's a bit frustrating, so... Yeah. I'm just glad I could do something, though. No! Yellow flag, your clear. Oh. clear. We just had a warning for cutting the track. I didn't miss the apex completely then. Couldn't see where I was going. Turned in too late, overcorrected. Right. I'm going to be quiet for the next couple of laps. Because I've just been talking like it's no one's business. I'm going to try and concentrate and actually try and get this guy because this is really starting to frustrate me now. Not much time left to go in the race. And again, zero practice with this. So I've closed them a little bit then, but not by much. More, maybe I'll get two more laps out of this. You never know. Slowing down a bit. Ah, <laughs> Bobo, that'd, that'd do the trick, wouldn't it? Oh! Every time! <laughs> You've got some serious suspension damage there. Thank you, Spotter. Ever the Optimist. No wonder it feels a bit screwy. I've been clunking those curves like it's no one's business. Right, one lap to go. Slow in fast out. Last lap. 
keep on cutting the track. We're cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. One more to go. Keep it. Very scruffy race from myself here. This is why I practice. <laughs> right, this is why I should always practice. Entire attempts are all good. Well, I mean, that's one way to do it. Here we go! Side, clear to the left. Oh! He defended, he went to the inside, I couldn't get the cut back on him. Okay, now just cut the track. Oh, that's close enough. Car left. Oh, that's close enough. There. <laughs> Good one, mate. Good one, mate, you held on that one. Oh. Now, if I'd have had a practice session before that, that was a little bit more than two minutes long, maybe I could have had a little bit of a better chance on that one. Maybe. Because uh, that was a very scruffy race that I was I was learning as I went along. I don't think I had a valid lap in half of the race there, so my instant points are going to be quite high. I'm probably going to lose reputation for that. Um, and I don't actually know the rating of everyone else in this race. I'm probably going to lose rating for that as well, I'd say. Oh, man. Very close. And Andre has already left the game. Let's have a look. Let's confirm the results. We were the only two guys racing at the end of that. Yeah, we're the only two guys who uh, finished racing. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how that figures. Um, let's go and see how that affects my ranking. Actually, I can't quit just yet, can I? There we go. No, actually, what's going on here? Come on, race room. There we go, back in the menu. And finish, and quit. There we go. I don't want to click on finish, I want to click on quit. So let's go and quit, and let's go and have a look. Uh, right, going to have to look at the portal. Um, Koenigsegg, my settings, I'll show you my settings right now, actually. Controls. Uh, control sets advanced. Is that that? I don't know. Where's the controls here? Um, you can see that I've got full 900 degrees of rotation. So you can look in the top right there. You can see that I'm, I'm going through a lot of steering. Um, I'm more so steering with the brakes. I'm like getting the brakes to get the weight onto the front of the car and then just guiding it round with the steering wheel. Um, with these Porsches you don't have to steer that much really. Unless you're at Macau and then you put full lock on for the hairpin. Excuse me. Uh, yep, yeah, there, is, there is a setting to match that by the way, so I will, I don't know if I can show you my Logitech software, I don't think I can at the moment, it's under this screen. Let's have a look at ranked multiplayer and see how that race affected me. Oh, I lost rating and reputation for that, okay. Um, I dropped, oh, actually I dropped 0 0.7 rep in that race and I dropped 1.4 rating, so that was actually quite a hit. That's the most rep I've lost since I stacked it in the IndyCar in that Daytona Oval race. Um, and that's the most rating I've lost since that race as well. Okay. So finishing second out of five with nine instant points, that's going to bump me down. I, I did lose a spot. I did qualify in first. 
and finished in second. And it was a very scruffy race. <laughs> very scruffy race, actually. Uh, but that was that. Yeah. Andre Rocker. Let's have a look at Andre's profile. Let's see what Andre's up to. Let's see what he is. Uh, oh, he gained quite a bit from that. Because he has a lower reputation and rating than me, so he would have he'd have gained. Anyway, guys, that is well. That's the consolation race, I guess. Let's see if there's anything else going on at the moment. I don't actually know in Soupy. Um, the race room stats for favorite car and all that kind of thing are really screwed up, you know. Now we got a lot of races here that are in progress, but I think people are starting to starting to go to bed now. That's the race that I should have been in, the Formula 2 race that's got 20 minutes left, 11 people. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of the servers, even in race and quality here, you've got four people, five people, two people, one people. So it's kind of getting to that stage now. It's nearly 11 a.m. here in Brisbane. Uh, that would be 11, 1 a.m. UTC, 2 a.m. in the UK, 3 a.m. back in Europe. So the vast majority of race rooms user base is starting to go offline now. So... Uh, Spa GT3. No, there's no one in it. Look. Spa GT3. It's not there. It's gone. It's empty. Yeah, now my dad's doing real well, actually. He's, uh... Yeah, it's impressive on a controller. So, to be honest, I think I might wrap the stream up now. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get to race what I wanted to race today, but at least I had a bonus consolation race in that rather good... Porsche Carrera. Couldn't win it, uh, but that was only because I was just being too scruffy. Just needed a bit more practice and it would have been fine. <sighs> well, anyway, on with my day. I'm going to go and clean a barbecue now. Uh, I can't see it, Drazen. I can't see it there, man. I can't see GT3s. Oh, no, hang on. GT3s at Spa. Where is it? Mm. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, Drazen. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I'm kind of a bit burned with race room today. I was looking forward to that Formula 2. Anyway, hopefully it comes good for Tuesday, which is when I'm going to be doing Tuesday Thunder with um, Oz and Dead Sim Racing. We're racing the DTM 1992 Opal at Silverstone International. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the channel, really, when things are going to come out. I recorded a video a few days ago where the controls were inverted, so steer left to go right, steer right to go left, and um, yeah, that's it. That's that's that was. I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil it. You'll have to watch that for yourselves. But that was interest, very interesting actually. I think you'll be surprised with that one. Um, okay, well, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's not what I advertised. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, you look after yourselves, guys, and I will see you all again soon. Bye-bye.